In order to make a trophy plate using subtoner, first you'll need your metal, and you want to cut it down to size because right now it's a little too big. So we're going to start and just cut it in half. And this is a very easy tool to use. It doesn't take any pressure at all. And the plate we're making today measures 6 inches by 8 inches, so we're going to cut it down. to your software. Once you've designed your trophy plate the way you want it to appear, you're going to come over to your print option and somewhere here you, your software should have the option to print reversed or it might say mirror or flip for an iron-on and that's basically what you're doing. So you'll click that and then you'll print. Um, this software that we use is uh, Broder Bond's print shop and we have a link on our website so you can purchase it directly from them. We recommend this one because it's just very simple to use. After it's finished printing you'll see that it's mirrored. Okay, There it is front ways and it's going to look all backwards but that's fine, that's what you want. Now what you're going to do is take your metal adhere it to your image using the heat resistant tape. And this is also available on our website. Before you press the plate, you'll see that there is a plastic film on it, very thin. But you want to pull that off. And what this is is just a protective coating to prevent against scratches during shipment and what have you. You're going to take it and put it directly on the transfer image. Use your heat tape. Tape down the corners. So after you have it adhered down, you'll put it in your heat press. And we recommend starting um, with 350 degrees at 30 seconds. Sometimes it has to cook longer than that. There's a lot of um, solid images like on the Eagle. The wing is very dark and black. You may want to press it even longer up to 45 seconds. Once your time has passed, you want to carefully remove this from the heat press. Remember it was 350 degrees so it's very hot. You might want to let it cool for a few seconds till it's cool enough to handle. And there it is. Once you're finished, it may need to be cleaned. Sometimes you'll spot a little bit of residue left behind, and that's very normal. You can remove that using um, citrus cleaner and a paper towel, just a little tiny bit. Put it on the paper towel, and it wipes right off. You can use the corner rounder for a finished look. Clip off the four corners. Then you use some double-sided tape. This is also available on our website. After you have your two-sided tape on, you just stick it onto your base. There you go. 
So the total cost to make this trophy plate is surprising. The cost for the paper, the toner, the metal, and the wood is only four dollars. And with one subtoner cartridge, you can make hundreds of these. Imagine what your profit would be.